Hezekiah became king at the age 25 and reigned for 29 years in Jerusalem. During the fourth year of Hezekiah's reign, Salmanezer attacked Samaria. During the sixth year of Hezekiah's reign, Shalmaneser deported Israelites to Assyria because they idolized different gods. During the 14th year of Hezekiah's reign, Sennacherib sent his army to Jerusalem to attack all the cities and capture them. While in Jerusalem, the army meets Eliakim, Shebiah, and Joah. So time passes. Isaiah sends a message to Hezekiah about the Lord demanding that the king does not approach the city. The Lord ended up striking down 184,000 men in the Assyrian camp. Isaiah sends another message to Hezekiah, saying that the Lord has heard his prayers and he promised Isaiah that he will shield the city from any harm. Eventually, Hezekiah dies and his son Manasseh takes over as king. Hezekiah was 25 years old when he became king and he reigned for 29 years in Jerusalem. God gave a message to Hezekiah to give to his people about how their ancestors abandoned them and turned away from the Lord. Therefore, the anger of the Lord came upon Judah and Jerusalem, causing their ancestors to fall down by sword. Their sons, daughters, and wives were taken captive. In order for them to please God again, they will have to clean the temple. Hezekiah sent word to Israel and Judah and wrote letters to Ephraim and Manasseh telling them that they would celebrate by coming to the Lord's house. This leads to the Passover. The Passover lasted for seven days, then they agreed to celebrate for another seven days after that. There was a Sennacherib invasion. Their response was that their God had never helped them before. They were questioning their faith in the Lord. Eventually, Hezekiah dies and his son Manasseh takes over as king. Okay, for two kings, you have Hezekiah, Eliakim, Shabana, Joah, and Isaiah. And for two chronicles, you have King Hezekiah, Mansa, Sennacherib, the Assyrian king. So the theme in Two Kings and Two Chronicles is basically that um, you can overcome hardships and that you can um, make up for past mistakes, even if it wasn't your generation, but your past ancestors' generations, you can make up for it. And if you believe in God and your faith is strong, then you'll be able to overcome adversity. So for both Two Kings and Two Chronicles, the genre we picked was action because of the battles they had to face between people and cities and we also picked drama because of the hardship they had to face and then because they kept moving people out of their homes and away from their families so the similarities between two kings and two chronicles was the chapter started off in the order the same orders it started off 
with the rain and the beginning of the rain of Hezekiah, and then what happened during his reign, and then it ended as how his reign ended. And then some differences between the Chronicles and Kings is that in Chronicles, the fight scene was like really big. So they uh, described the, the fight scene more where in um, Kings, it was more like they just uh, talk about the arguments. It was just like more of the argument, not really showing as much detail. In Two Kings, the story follows along with the theme of them having to face hardship was because when the Israelites were deported to Assyria and then the time when the armies attacked Jerusalem and captured their cities. And in Two Chronicles, you can see the um, theme matching the story because um, you all see their hardships faced when they were when they got deported and captured and the sons and wives and daughters were taken away but you see uh it relating back to the faith in god because you see that since their faith was strong then they ended up winning the overall battle when they were being attacked and tried to be taken over